Good evening and welcome to the Stroh Center here on the campus of Bowling Green State University. It is regional semifinal night in Division Three. Our matchup for you this evening, the Ottawa Glandor Titans and the Toledo Emanuel Christian Warriors. My name is Mark Schein. My pleasure to do play-by-play alongside Mr. Jerry Snodgrass to do our color. Jerry, it's regional time, okay? And we got two good basketball teams. We've got a 23-3 and Warrior team, a 22-3 and Titan team. Big basketball game. And you know what? I am really looking forward to this. We have two very prolific scorers, two great players. And, you know, many people in this area might say, Emmanuel Christian, where? Where's that at? Yep. Hey, listen, they, they play out of the Toledo Area Athletic Conference, the TAC. They're good. And they're well coached. And I think that's going to be a big part of this game tonight. That I expect a great game. It is regional time. All right. Let's talk about, first of all, um, our, our sponsor for our pregame show. That is the State Bank. For all your banking and financial service needs, visit yourstatebank.com. Member FDIC and equal housing lender. The visiting team on the scoreboard tonight, Jerry, will be the Ottawa Glendorf Titans. Uh, let's take a look at the Titans this season. 22 and 3, 9 and 0 uh, this season in the Western Buckeye League. Another Western Buckeye League championship for them. Your thoughts on the Titans, the number one ranked team in Division Three, coming into tonight? Well, you know, first number one ranked team. Yes. You know, and and I think throughout the year. They've had so many, they've had close games. They've played a big schedule. They, they, I give Tyson McLaughlin a lot of credit for that, that they do that. And as a result of that, they're just riding the wave. Well, they, they are. And we ought to make, mention right now and kind of get it out of the way, Colin White today was named as one of the nine finalists for the Mr. Basketball in Ohio. Yes, and I look at that whole list, and I've seen many of those players. Yep. I'm not going to say he's a shoe-in, exactly. but I really do believe that he is Mr. Basketball. All right, then let's take a look at the Emmanuel Christian Warriors, 23-3. and three. Uh, They were 8-2 and two in that conference that you mentioned. But those two losses came to Toledo Christian, who won in this building last night. They'll be in the regional finals. This is a good basketball team from Emmanuel Christian. Yeah, it very much is. You know, And they also played a pretty good schedule. CVCA, uh, Cuyahoga Valley Christian College, or, yeah. uh, Academy out of the Northeast, they take them. They've had a good run in tournaments so far, obviously, and uh, some really good players, too. Our pregame show is brought to you by the State Bank. Jerry and I will be back after this to talk about keys to the game. You're watching High School Tournament Basketball on WOSN. We're back at the Stroh Center here at Bowling Green State University. Our tips to the game that are brought to you by the State Bank for all your banking and financial service needs. Visit yourstatebank.com, a member of FDIC, equal housing lender. Jerry, we said a moment ago the Ottawa Glendorf Titans are the visitors on the scoreboard tonight. How about tips to the game for the Titans? Well, number one, I think, you know, sounds maybe redundant, but they need to ride the wave. They had a great emotional win, you know, the other night uh, to get here. And, you know, after those big overtime wins, they just need to ride the momentum. Two, they need to stop the break. I don't think Tyson McLaughlin, their coach, will underestimate, but nobody should underestimate the athleticism of uh, Emmanuel Christian, and they just need to get back and stop the break. Three, they need to get second chances. One of the big keys that Emmanuel Christian says, they don't want Colin White to have second chances. Well, on the other hand, I think that's where he is very good at scoring also. He's got such a nose for the ball. They need to get second chances. Yeah, the Atlanta Titans got here with wins over Van Buren 77-40, Liberty Benton's 57-41, and Spencerville 56-52 in overtime. Let's talk about then the Toledo uh, Emanuel Christian Warriors and the tips to the game for them. Uh, number one, they need to get good mileage. Now a little play on words, that mileage from Nate Miles. The six foot four player is averaging almost 25 a game and has had 13 double doubles. They've got to get mileage out of Miles. Two, their supporting cast has to step up. You know, they get a lot out of Miles and also from uh, Jalen Brown, also averaging nearly 20 a game, but they need to get good production out of everybody else as well. Three, they need to defend. And that's going to be a tough task because not only does Colin White score, but OG has a good supporting cast too, and they really need to defend. Plato Emanuel Christian, they have wins over Ottawa Hills, 63-56. Liberty Center, an overtime game, 62-55, and over Archibald, 62-44. We've given you the tips to the game. We've got the stage set. When we come back, we'll have the starting lineups, and we will go into the mas- basketball game itself. Our pregame has been brought to you tonight by the State Bank. 
For all your banking and financial service needs, visit yourstatebank.com. Member FDIC, an equal housing lender. Back with the opening tip. Right after this, you're watching high school tournament basketball on WOSN. We're back at the Stroh Center here at Bowling Green State University. Ottawa Glendorf matched up today with Emmanuel Christian. Mark Shine, Jerry Snodgrass here. It's time to put our starting lineups on the board for you. First of all, let's look at the visiting team. That would be number three, Grant Schrader, 6'1 junior. He averages 6.6 points per game. Number four is Grady Tomasos, a six-foot junior. He averages seven a game. Number 11, Dave Westrick, 6'7 senior, a new addition to the starting lineup recently. Jerry, he's had quite an impact for them. Number 22 is Colin White, 6'6 senior. And number 24 is Caden Irfan. He is a 6'4 senior as well. For the Toledo Emmanuel Christian Warriors, the number four ranked team in the state of Ohio. Number two is Caden Leitner, 5'10", senior. Number four, Jalen Brown, 6'2", senior. Number five, Nate Miles III, the man that Jerry mentioned just a moment ago. He is a 6'5", sophomore, Jerry, with those tools that you talked about. Uh, Number 10 is Jacob Sims, 5'7", senior. And number 11 is Antoine Mister, a 6'1", freshman. I was looking around, trying to find an empty seat, Jerry. Well, just, you know, I would suggest anybody that like quick service at a restaurant in Ottawa yeah, probably, probably ought to go. Our first quarter sponsor today is Critton Aerial Applications. Provides you with custom liquid and granular crop application, all for your innovative drone system. Videos and information on our Facebook page, Crittenden Aerial Applications. Our first quarter sponsor today, and they will be our sponsor for each of the quarters that we have this evening. We're going through these starting lineups now for each team on the court. And, Jerry, sometimes teams come in here, and it's such a wide venue, particularly to our left, the the, the open end, so so to speak. It's so different than uh, the typical high school venue. Sometimes when you shoot at that end of the floor, particularly OG in the first half, that's a difficult thing to do. Not only a difficult uh, thing to do because of that openness, but you've also got visiting people sitting under that basket. Sure. You know, that... You know, we've seen that on social media at times, some of the things they do. <laughs> yeah. I, I will say this. I have to throw this in. The student section, the Blue Crew for Ottawa yeah. Glendorf, that's a new one. The seniors, they all have their own dress attire. Yes. Seniors are in the front, of course, sure. but they're in gold. Middle ones, class of 25, they're in blue. Ones in the back, right, or sophomores, they're in white. Yeah, so they're, it, even, that, it, they're even color-coded. It, it's a coordinated response this evening. Yes, it is. We've got multiple premier sponsors for this particular event. We're going to name a couple of those before we get started. One of them is Northwest Ohio Recycling. Tonight's game is brought to you in part by Northwest Ohio Recycling in Pandora, paying top dollar for aluminum, copper, brass, scrap iron, and scrap cars. You can call 419-384-3392. A second premier sponsor this evening is Dale's Concrete. Tonight's game is brought to you in part by Dale's Concrete and Decorative Stamping and Lipstick for all your commercial and residential concrete needs. You can see the number of the players coming out now for Emmanuel Christian. Jerry, this is the first time I've seen Nate Miles III. He is not just a tall player. He is a big young man for a sophomore. Yeah, you're seeing it, but the Ottawa Glendar fans are not seeing it because of the newspapers in front of them. <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah, you're right. He is a big kid and I think, as you mentioned, you know, 25 points a game, just under 25. He himself has had 13 double-doubles on the year. So, you know, again, good talent. The winner of our opening game tonight was Margareta over Worthington Christian, 69-59. And the winner of that of this match will play them on Saturday. And we will talk about times for that as this game goes along. It appears to be 1 o'clock, but that could change. We'll explain why. And you can see Colin White with that heavily taped right wrist as he jumps center and tips the ball into the backcourt and does so into the hands of Grady Tomasos. This is White on the wing. Westrick. White comes free inside and a quick basket for Colin White. Well, you know, too, one of the things I would be concerned with or I look at is I wonder how many times Emmanuel Christian has come up against the toughness of Ottawa Glendorf. You know, they're just tough players. They know what winning is all about. They've been there enough. And, you know, again, I think that's a tough thing. It's not a statistic, but it's a big thing. They looked inside to Nate Miles, and he attempted to make a move before he secured the basketball. So we have a timeout, a t- a turnover immediately, and Erford will inbound the basketball. And does so to Tomasos. 
And as he is going up the court with the basketball, he is fouled by Holden, uh, excuse me, uh, Jacob, Jacob Sims. Sims. Yep. Yeah, looked at the wrong roster for a moment. Yeah, it could be a big deal there, too. You know, number one, I talked about the toughness of OG, but that toughness really shows when you're handling the ball against pressure like that. Secondly, you know, getting them in foul trouble, who knows? Tomazos again, and his cross dribble gets him across midcourt. Grant Schrader with the basketball to White, looks inside to Erford. Erford making a move, spin move, and has to throw it back out on top. Tomazos pulls up from 17. Oh. Grady with a basket. First four points of the game go the way of the Titans. Sims pressured by White. To the wing it goes. And baseline move and scoring off the drive is Caden Leitner. Leitner, a 5'11 senior guard forward, plays all over the place and shows a lot of athleticism on that. Schrader, Erford. Colin White off the screen, ball fakes. Colin White pull up jumper, scores again. He's got four in the opening quarter. Well, you know, one of the things the Emmanuel Christian that they said they wanted, how do you stop Colin White? You've got to keep him in front of you. And right there, they did not do that. Gave him an inch, and he took advantage of it. The cross-court pass went to Brown. He couldn't score inside. This is Sims going against Westrick. Into the lane with a runner that bounces around. Schrader rebounds. White comes off the screen. Pull up from three. Colin White's got seven, and we played just over two minutes in the basketball game. Timeout. This timeout will go to Seth Harris from Emmanuel Christian. You're watching High School Tournament Basketball, WOSN. We just saw a three-point field goal by Colin White. Today's three-point field goal sponsor is Simplified Flooring. We make flooring simple. We also had our first Metzger Financial Services timeout. They are, our timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. White his hands on the basketball and knocked it out of bounds. Well, Mark, you know, we talked before about Colin White being a finalist for Mr. Basketball. You know, when you talk, start looking at a player at the next level, you know, they've got to be, to, be able to hold up and, and just, just take that jump shot like that under pressure. That's exactly what he did on that last one. Titans go to a more 1-2-2 trap as opposed to the 2-2-1 they started in. This ball gets stolen. Erford gets his hands on that one. Numbers for the Titans. Bounce pass ahead to Westrick, and they just didn't quite communicate. No, right idea, and a great steal on his part on that backside. Our instant replay sponsor tonight is Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, the area's premier Chevrolet and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area. Serving Lima for more than 100 years, we're proud to call this our home. And going for a steal and not a get, getting one is Grady Tomazos, and instead he picks up his first foul. Yeah, but even there, you know, the reversal pass just is making that very tough. And sooner or later, I think if they stay in that, you're going to see a steal on that. Ross Mag will enter the 6'3 junior. He replaces Westrick. Sideline out of bounds by Antoine Mister. Only a freshman, by the way. And the ball goes into the hands of Jacob Sims. He comes off a screen. And now Jalen Brown. Here's Miles. Pull up jumper Miles. Nate Miles has his first basket of the game. I talked about holding it, you know, just holding up shooting like that. And Miles gets a shot block. We're headed the other way. Brown to the rim. White knocks it down. And White was out of bounds when he tried to save it. Man, the, the guy just plays, doesn't he? Yeah. I mean, just <laughs> even there, to, you know, he was on the out-of-bounds line, but still to be able to just ha- handle the body like that and just throw it back in and try to throw it off the other player. There's a lob out to Sims. Off a screen for three is Brown. Nope. Rebound backside comes into. Uh, Alex Wagner's hands the hero of Saturday's game against Spencerville by sending the game into overtime with a big three-point field goal. 
Here's White. Works the lay. Pull up from 15. Colin White's got nine. Puts his team up seven. They're just giving him, not on purpose, but he's just getting those too easy. Sims weaves through traffic, and he goes to the rim and scores points three and four for him. I think we're going to see some points scored in this game, Jerry. I certainly do. Colin White, he is matched up out front with Brown. About to get a screen. Comes off of that, and Sims gets him. To the corner goes Erford. And he and Colin White miscommunicate. Our scoreboard today is brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Automated pergolas, retractable walls and screens, outdoor furniture, and outdoor kitchens. Here's the half-court trap. Bounce pass goes into the middle of the mister. And over to the sideline, it goes to Brown, down to the corner. Here's a baseline move and a left-handed shot that will not fall. And will go the other way with White's rebound. Schrader tips it ahead. And White again to Erford. Erford loses it going to the rim. And in the battle, it goes off of, looks like it went off of number 10, and that is Jacob Sims. You know, I like how Ottawa Glendorf runs that for Colin White, where, you know, he'll go in and they'll he'll go back to the corner, back to the wing, and they just replace him and uh, get the ball back to him for a jumper. Colin White to the rim, and his left-handed shot goes. He's got 11 already, and we're just five minutes into this. Mister throws it ahead to Sims. Sims into the lane. Mister pull up three. Bounces around. Good checkout position on the backside by Schrader. White, Erford. Schrader hands it off to Wagner. And back to Colin White. I think right now the Titans are taking, doing a good job of taking Emmanuel Christian out of their offense. They're forcing them to throw it up quick. Schrader works inside. Reverse layup. Grant Schrader's in the books. 15-6. Titans. Ahead it goes to Leitner. And then he hands it back off to Jacob Sims. Here's Miles to the rim. No, rebound this time goes to Ross Mag. Schrader to the rim, challenges, and gets his strip loose, but stepped out of bounds Did Jalen Brown. Now watch this coming up. You know, boy, look at how quick they get the ball up the court. We're going to get another timeout by the uh, Emmanuel Christian Warriors. You're watching high school tournament basketball WOSN. Tonight's game is brought to you in part by Binkley Real Estate. Binkley Real Estate has an effective sales approach, effective marketing campaigns, and extensive network that will get results that move you. And tonight's game is brought to you in part by Ohio Logistics. Ohio Logistics provide all these assets and operational support necessary to meet your most sophisticated logistics requirements. Ohio Logistics, the smart move. To learn more, visit ohiologistics.com. Second time out already for Emmanuel Christian, Jerry. Yeah, it is. And, you know, right now the Titans are seven, actually eight of nine, you know, from the field right now, including a three. Colin White has 11 already, but they're doing it all on the defensive end. White pulled up on a ball fake that time. And now he catches the ball on the left wing. Westrick's back in the game. White flashes low. Got Miles on his back. Erford's going to get a three look. Short rebound. And Westrick scores. His presence inside has really made a difference. It sure has. As he's gotten healthy from that knee injury. It's 17-6. Titans. Miles has to hand off to Brown. To the wing it goes to Mister, and then back up on top to Sims. Headed baseline is Leitner, and he loses it. White goes. Three on two the other way. White to the rim, and he finishes. 13 and a quarter. Colin White, 19-6. Isn't that amazing how he controls himself? He is. Westrick with a shot block to Erford. Titans stepping on the gas here in quarter number one. Here's White. Pull-up jumper from 17 is short, but he's fouled. 
Our yeah. free throw sponsor today is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Well, you're just going to let him go right now and oh my you know, until, until he needs a breather, I think. Yes. He's got 13, a pair of free throws. He shoots 79% from the free throw line on the season. His numbers look like this, 24.2 points per game, 8 rebounds, and 3 assists per game. He's player of the year in his conference, of course, for the second year in a row. And his team is up 14 with 105 to go in the opening quarter. He makes another one, 15 and a quarter for White. Half-court trap again. Miles. Got into a dead area, bounced off a leg. White goes to the rim. Emphatic. I have no words. I have no words. 17 and a quarter. He's made threes. He's dunked. He's made free throws. He's made 17 footers. Trying to get into the lane was Ray Martin. That missed. Another Titan rebound. This one by Wagner. You know, and again, when I said they've done all this defensively, I just think they've done so much to take Emmanuel Christian out of any kind of rhythm whatsoever. White holding on to the basketball as we approach 20 seconds to go. Schrader back to White. Five count on his. Here comes the dribble. We're at 10. And it's tipped out of bounds. Back into the game will come Grady Tomasos, also into the game. Number three, Terrell Williams for Emmanuel Christian. See what coach has got designed with nine seconds to go. Erford being the inbounder. Goes to the backcourt to Tomasos, to White. Westrick, power layup, blocked inside by Miles. The first eight minutes come to an end. The Titans have put 23 on the board. Emmanuel Christian, six. Back in a moment, you're watching High School Tournament Basketball, WOSN. Our second quarter is brought to you by Critton, Critton Aerial Applications. They provide you with custom liquid and granular crop applications. All of our innovative drone systems, videos, and information on our Facebook page. Critton Aerial Applications. Pretty impressive quarter, Jerry, but the guy's wearing blue. Yeah, you're holding the opposing team to 27% shooting, and you yourself are shooting 76% from the field. Holy cow. Nate Miles had four. Colin White had 17 to lead their teams in scoring. And for our viewers, yes, that was 17 in the first quarter. <laughs> There's a nice baseline jump shot that won't go for Brown. Here's a lob pass ahead, and Erford didn't see it coming. Scoreboard day is brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Automated pergolas, retractable walls and screens, outdoor furniture, and outdoor kitchens. But you know, Mark, you know, Colin White's ultimate teammate. You know, yeah, he's got 17 in the quarter, but he gets the ball ahead when he needs to, distributes the ball in the offensive end. You know, they move the ball, it comes back to him, but he's just the ultimate teammate. Miles pulls up from three. Nate Miles has seven now in the basketball game, cuts the lead to 14. That was an impressive looking shot. It really was. Here's Tomasos with the basketball to White. They play a little 1 2 2 zone. Will the Warriors? Schrader, Tomasos, and White. Erford. Get to Schrader in a hurry. Didn't let him load up on that jump shot. Erford, same deal. Schrader's got a three look this time out of the corner. Yeah. Knocks it down. His 21st three-point field goal of the season makes it a 26-9 game. A three-point sponsor today is Simplified Flooring. We make flooring simple. White takes it away. Two on one the other way. He gives it up to Tomasos. Lob pass. And White got shoved. No call. Erford for three. Doesn't matter. They score anyway. Erford's 62nd three-point field goal of the season. It's 29-9. There's a runner that will go by Jalen Brown. Jalen's first basket of the game. 
And we mentioned him, too. You know, he's averaging almost 19 a game. Here's a steal. We're going to go the other way. Brown to the rim, and he's going to be fouled. It's going to be a shooting foul, and our free throws today are brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Dolphins, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. To the free throw line goes Jalen Brown. He just made his first basket of the game. He's got a couple of free throws. Four substitutions waiting at the scores table. Two of each team. First free throw, good. Brody Fortman will get his first playing time tonight. He's a 6'4 sophomore. All the substitutions for Emmanuel Christian have been in the game already. Here's Brown's second free throw. You know, Mark, I talked about, you know, the experience that Ottawa Glandorf has tournament-wise and, you know, through so many of these players, but they've had so many games where they've had big leads that they can play those guys. Mm -hmm. And they're just part, you know, they're just a regular, confident, you know, they played in tough situations. Daniel Christian playing some 1-2-2. It's caused the Titans to slow down a bit anyway. Here's White. To the corner it goes. Wagner. And the ball's lost inside off the hands of Ross Mag. You're right. That 1-2-2 zone has slowed the game up a little bit for Ottawa Glendale. Pull up jumper. Brown missed that one. Battle for the rebound. Schrader or Wagner pulls it down to White. Colin White to the corner it goes. Brody Fortman. Battle for the rebound. It's ripped away by Leitner. Titans get it back. Colin White says hello. Not just aggressively fighting for the look. Look how he gets a hand on that basketball. Talk about deflections. There was one that resulted in not only a turnover but a nice dunk. Three back at the other end doesn't go. Wagner gets another rebound, and they find Colin White, and his coach is going to call a timeout. It's a Metzger Financial Services timeout. You're watching high school tournament basketball on WOSN. Our timeouts tonight are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Tonight's game is also brought to you in part by Northwest Ohio Recycling in Pandora, paying top dollar for aluminum, copper, brass, scrap iron, and scrap cars. You know, Mark, I thought that was a very good timeout, actually, by Ottawa Glendorf. Yeah. You know, things were a little slow, harried on the offensive end a couple times, even though that last dunk, that was from a turnover. But a good time to take a timeout, rest a little bit, go back at it. White and Erford have played the entire game so far. The other guys have had a substitute in for them. They need a foul right here. Foul goes to Brown. Back into the game comes Grant Schrader. Erford will be the inbounder. And back to the backcourt it goes to Colin White. <clears throat> and he struggles out front with the yeah. basketball with Jacob Sims. Wagner gets it back and then lost it. They a double dribble call that will go against him. Yeah, Emmanuel Christian has, you know, picked it up a little bit yeah. defensively, especially you know, on the ball like that. It's kind of stabilized a little bit here at 31-13. It was 23-6 at the quarter break. Here comes Miles back into the game. And he will replace Ray Martin. Jalen Brown. Titans in man-to-man. To the wing it goes to Sims. And now Miles. Pulled up jumper from 17. White rebounds. 
I talk about rebounding being such a key, and that's something that OG on the defensive boards have really controlled it. Get that zone spread out. Schrader finds Erford. Colin White patrolling the high post area against the zone now. Schrader throws it to Erford cross court, and back to Schrader it goes. White inside and lost the ball in a dribble. Miles gets it. Runner in the lane, a little bit hard. White gets the rebound. Comes Colin the other way, weaving through traffic. He finds Wagner in the corner. Nope, rebound. White throws it to his <laughs> teammate, hands a dime right into the hands of Ross Mag. Uh, good players have, you know, such good court vision. You know, to be able to see that, throw it through traffic like that, what great vision he has. Miles is going to the rim this time. He goes right to the lane, and Miles scores. Nate's got nine now, five in this quarter. And Erford will walk it up. Schrader looks, looks, cross-court pass, Erford. To the rim he goes, ball fakes, goes up through traffic, and lost it on the end line. Our instant replay sponsor this evening is Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, the area's premier Chevrolet and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area. Serving Lima for more than 100 years, we are proud to call this our home. You know, Emmanuel Christian really has pretty much found the answer in the half-court defense of playing that 1-2-2 zone. It's really slowed OG down. That it has. Lob pass into the center it goes. Here's a pass that goes cross court, and the ball ends up into the hands of Usury Martin. His first basket of the game. It's a 16-point game. Under two. White. Schrader. And then Erford. Back to White. Wagner gets another three look. Miles with the rebound. He's leading the break. And Miles was headed to the rim. The foul will occur before that time. Tonight's game is brought to you in part by Dale's Concrete and Decorative Stamping in Lipstick for all your commercial and residential needs. And tonight's game is brought to you in part by Binkley Real Estate. Binkley Real Estate has an effective sales approach, effective marketing campaigns, and extensive network will get results that move you. Really? Out of bounds, good. Yeah, right now, you know, Emmanuel Christian, you know, they seem to be a little, well, I was going to say they seem to be a little bit more patient on the offensive end, but. Miles took that shot, did Nate, shot missed. It's a 16-point lead with 136 to go. But he is a scorer. You let, he is. You let yes. shooters shoot. Tonight's game is also brought to you in part by Ohio Logistics. Ohio Logistics provides all the assets and operational support necessary to meet your most sophisticated logistics requirement. Ohio Logistics, the smart move. Learn more and visit OhioLogistics.com. That stays with the Titans. He's had a harder time, I think, Colin White has dribbling through that zone. Just a lot of hands in there. Erford to White. Hands it back to Caden. And Colin White approaching a minute to go here in quarter two for the right to play Margareta in the regional finals on Saturday. White wants a screen. Throws a pass to the corner, and Wagner gets a three look. And Miles gets a rebound. Miles headed to the rim. There's a foul out front, though. I don't think Miles realized it. No, he didn't. That'll be just the third Titan foul of the quarter, so we're going to take this one out of bounds with 57 seconds left. Well, I mentioned, you know, one of the keys for OG is to stop the break. Now, granted, they've got a big lead right now, but at the same time, it's every rebound. Boy, Emmanuel Christians are out and going with it. That was a wise foul right there. And it made, was. It, made it look good so it didn't look intentional. Right. Even though it probably was, it didn't look that way. Mister looking inside. Finds Miles. Turn around jumper from the baseline. Too hard. Ball bounces out to Leitner. His shot goes up and his teardrop goes in. Caden Leitner's got four. You know, Mark, I, I had a coach tell me recently of 
those little runners, those little floaters like that. Practice them every day because in today's game, you're going to get a lot of those, and you see a lot of that at college ball right now. It's a 14-point game. Titans going to try to get last shot here of quarter two. White pressured out front. Erford comes and gets it. It was 17 at the first quarter break. It's 14 now. Westrick, White, skip pass. Erford for three. It's 17 again. Caden Erford, two three-point field goals here in quarter number two for his six points. And the Titans will take a 36-17 break to halftime. You're watching High School Tournament Basketball on WOSN. Halftime here at the Stroh Center on the campus of Bowling Green State University. Our halftime show that is brought to you by State Bank. For all your banking and financial service needs, visit yourstatebank.com and member FDIC, an equal housing lender. Jerry Snodgrass, I'm looking at the stat page. A lot of those things went the way of the OG Titans, many of that in the first quarter, but they're still kind of tied at 13 in quarter number two. A lot of numbers favor the Titans, though. Yeah, you know, I, I thought two things that stood out for me is, you know, the rebounding advantage right now by OG is 16-9. to nine, yeah. And I thought that was key because some of those were on the offensive end. A lot of those were on quick shots by Emmanuel Christian that they did not give second chances to. But the other one, OG did have seven turnovers, and a couple of them were in a stretch there. Now, again, are they in danger of losing that lead? I mean, it wasn't like it was a one-point game. But yeah. at the same time, those turnovers were costly at the time. The field goal percentage really does favor the Titans, though, as you look at that board. They're four for nine from the three-point line. They're 62% overall, whereas Emmanuel Christian, 16% from the three-point line and just 33% overall. Yeah, and you know that four, four of nine from three-point line for Ottawa Glander. I, I really think one that was the most key was that last shot of the quarter. Yeah, it really I was. thought, you know, because things were a little stagnant there for a while, and to get that, wow, they went in the locker room with some momentum. We're back in a moment. Jerry will give you his adjustments for the second half coming up right after this. You're watching High School Tournament Basketball on WOSN. Emmanuel Christian, they, they nodded a score in the second quarter. Each team had 13 points. They've stabilized the ship a little bit, but they're still down 17. Your thoughts for them and adjustments for them? Well, one, I think they're being told in that locker room, we're going to stick with that 1-2-2 two, two zone. It really did change the complexion of the game. It's weird that it didn't really alter the score that much, right. but it did put them back in a little bit better position. Two, hey, get out and go with it. You know, see how much they do that. But I think they're going to really have to keep pressure on the ball, whether it's Colin White bringing it up or somebody else. They'll risk a few fouls doing it. And thirdly, and lastly, they need to box out better. That's something that, you know, they, they wanted to eliminate double second chances, and they've given up too many. Those are Jerry's halftime adjustments. They've been brought to you by the State Bank. For all your banking and financial service needs, visit yourstatebank.com. Member FDIC and equal housing lender. Third quarter coming up next. You're watching High School Tournament Basketball on WOSN. Our scoreboard today is brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Automated pergolas, retractable walls and screens, outdoor furniture, and outdoor kitchens. It will be Titan basketball as we start quarter number three. Colin White has 19. Caden Erford has six. Grant Schrager, five. Nate Miles has nine to lead the Warriors in scoring. And it will be... That 1 2 2 zone, a little bit more aggressive, perhaps. And again, good pressure on the basketball. Erford takes it to the corner. Here's a skip pass around. Schrader now. They're really denying that or really making it tough to put the ball, to reverse the ball. Tomazos and back to Schrader. Trying to get away from Jalen Brown. Erford to White in the center. White pull-up jumper in the lane, bounces around and out. Nate Mills rebounds, pressure by the Titans. Westrick went after it, and now we have numbers the other way. Westrick's going to get back, though. You know, I think, too, in that offensive end by Ottawa Glandorf, I think they'll really, since they're having a hard time reversing it, I think they'll really try to put somebody on that inside. Really Jalen Brown with a pull-up three-point field goal. He's got seven in the game. Our three-point sponsor today is Simplified Flooring. Simplified Flooring. We make flooring simple. Cuts it to 14. You know, Mark, today I've seen so many good shooters. 
you know, and it, it, that just doesn't happen. That's from practice, and that's impressive, you know, because we talked about so much of that with the strength of the game today. It's such a lost art, you know, but boy, oh, boy, we've seen good shooters today. Our instant replay sponsor today is Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, the area's premier Chevrolet and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area, serving Lima for more than 100 years, and we are proud to call this home. The crew right on top of another instant replay to show you what happened. Erford, Tomasos, and back to White. Grady Tomasos goes baseline. Caden Erford challenges in the lane and has to throw it back out. Schrader goes baseline. He challenges. That shot's blocked by Mills, but there was contact. Nate Miles has just his first this, foul. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit of a late whistle, I think, there. But Agreed. Said he did catch him. And Our free throw sponsor today is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Grant Schrader makes his first free throw. That's point six for him in the game. And his second opportunity coming up. Makes them both. Seven points for him in the game. It's 38-22. And they're four for four from the line so far in the game from the free throw line. Pull up jumper. Bounces around, soft touch allows it to go for Nate Miles. He's got 11 now. Yep, soft touch, that's what you call a shooter's bounce. Colin White works the lane to Schrader. Tomasos, Erford in the corner, pull up three for him. Bounces around, Westrick with the big rebound. Dave Westrick has four points in the game. You know, and I mentioned at halftime, that's something that they really need to do as Emmanuel Christian is stop that second shot. You know, stop, stop, that, stop that second opportunity. And right there was a good example. Of Antoine it. Mister tried to dribble through traffic and was able to pick up a foul on a Titan. You know, Emmanuel Christian comes into this with the most wins in their program history. They're actually playing without one of their starters, Anthony Trombley. Yep. Off a screen comes Brown. Ball goes into the corner to Leitner and then back out on top to Antoine Mister and then back to Jalen Brown. Titans in their man-to-man defense. Back cut. And a well-done back cut gave the ball to Jalen Brown. He's got nine points now. 40-26. Tomazos pull-up jumper bounces around. Westrick with another rebound, and he is fouled. You know, offensively, it's almost like we've seen an entirely different Emmanuel Christian team. Yeah. You know, they've, they've protected the ball, but I don't know what it was. Maybe a little stage fright of being on the, at this level. Tonight's game is brought to you in part by Northwest Ohio Recycling in Pandora, paying top dollar for aluminum, copper, brass, scrap iron, and scrap cars. 419-384-3392. Erford. Into the lane he goes. Left-handed shot is short. Under pressure from Nate Miles. Here's the pass ahead, and it was lost out of bounds. You know, Mark, just a minute ago, they had the camera on uh, uh, Coach McLaughlin, Tyson McLaughlin. And, you know, you look at the history at this school. And there was a story out last week on the consistency with coaches. You know, schools that stay with a coach. Now, in fairness, they've not had bad years. Right. But at the same time, th- that just speaks volumes when you have consistency with coaches. Coaches are going to have down years. You know, high school, you're not, despite what people think, you're not recruiting players all the time. And, you know, you need to have that consistency for a winning program. And they exemplified yep. that. Schrader. And Westrick and lost the basketball because he was pushed. Yeah. This game is also brought to you in part by yeah. Dale's Concrete and Decorative Stamping Lipstick for all your commercial and concrete residential needs. Good yeah. call that time for the official to see that, you yeah. know, and that he actually saw that he wasn't faking it. Alex Wagner into the basketball game for Tomazos. Colin White with. Antoine Mister, or not Antoine Mister, Jacob Sims right in his face and beats him off the dribble. In the lane he goes, and there will be a foul there that will take place. (laughs) 
such a deceptive player. You know, you think he's going to stop, pull up, you know, hold his dribble, and he just crosses over and gets through you. The uh, action this time has created a foul situation. That's the fifth of the quarter. Free throw sponsor today is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken home style happens here. Yeah, Mark, that's a big thing. You know, we're not even halfway through the quarter. Yeah. And they're in the two-shot fouls already. White now has 20 in the game. Make it 21. He's a perfect four for four from the free throw line. It's 42-26. Here's the 2-2-1 press following the free throw. Up the sideline it goes, and it's passed a little bit hard. Erford with it. Pressured by Brown. Gets away from him, and now Schrader. To Colin White. Erford from the foul line. Jumpers a bit hard as Westrick with another wow. rebound. To White, to Schrader, to Erford. How about the teamwork on that oh, passing? All started from an offensive rebound. Okay, Nerford's now got eight in the game, and we are going to get a timeout that will come from Manuel Christian. Timeouts today are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services. You're watching High School Tournament Basketball on WOSN. Our timeouts today are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Our game is also brought to you in part by Binkley Real Estate. Binkley Real Estate has an effective sales approach, effective marketing campaigns, and extensive network that will get results that move you. And our game is also brought to you tonight by Ohio Logistics. They provide all of the assets and operational support necessary to meet your most sophisticated logistics requirements. Ohio Logistics, the smart move. To learn more, visit ohiologistics.com. If I were in the huddle right now of the Manuel Christian Warriors, Jerry, I think Coach was not happy about the effort on the last play That's down here. That's exactly right. you got a chance to come back. You're starting to play a little bit better, and then all of a sudden you give that up. Uh, just significantly outstanding passing in the lane, and really wasn't a challenge then to a pass or the shot. That's, that's, that's like, the part. You're that's right. That's why there Coach no called it. Yep. yep. It's an 18-point lead at 44-26 for the Titans. And into the front court comes Jacob Sims. And now Miles. Nate trying to work to the lane. He will be held by Westrick. Dave Westrick's first foul. As, as well as the Titans have defended tonight, they have not fouled much. No, I agree. Yep. And, and the Warriors only two for two at the foul line, so they haven't had many opportunities there either. So... Just a solid defensive effort. Yeah, and I think that's, you know, one of the things about the new rule, you know, on free throw shooting. It's not really, a, you know, you're not sending them to the line for anything, so you can be a little bit more aggressive. Nate Miles, ball fakes around Westrick, floater in the lane, bounces, 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 gets his own rebound, goes right back up, and he took Coach's challenge to be a little bit more aggressive. He's got 13 in the game now. Yeah, and, you know, I keep remembering he is a so Am I right? He's a sophomore? He's a sophomore. White. Down the lane, pull-up jumper. He is fouled. That foul came from Brown. Be his third foul to basketball game. That's a thing, too, about a good player like Colin White. They know how to draw fouls. You know, they might be a little off balance, but they know how to draw the foul out of it. So we'll get some Lee's famous recipe chicken free throws. And Colin White now has 22 in the game. Into the game comes Ross Mag. I thought Westrick had a really nice five minutes there, Dave. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Here's Colin White again. Shooting into his own student section. Perfect six for six at the free throw line this evening. The pass ahead. Jumper out of the corner. Beat him down the court. Got a three ball to Jalen Brown. He's got 12 now. Well, that's a, that's a video if you want to see a great sideline fast break. 48, Off of a make, by the way. 48-31, set play. Schrader goes to the rim and lost it, but he was fouled. Pass or shot, going to be a pass. There's a foul you can see right there on our Lima Chevrolet Cadillac instant replay. Oh, should have known it was a shooting foul because we're in a bonus yeah. situation. Well, you, know, you know something? I, I, I read some of the comments by Coach Seth Harris, and, you know, talking about, you know, how to handle a good team like this. And, and 
you know, big scoring maybe out of Colin White. And he said, you just need to play through it. He said, you know, you need to play through runs, things like that. I was really impressed by what he said. Well, there was a good example. You know, he got fouled. I, I don't remember who fouled him, but, you know, players looking over the bench, you know, like, I didn't touch him. I didn't touch him. Play through it. Play and through that's it. something you have to do as a player. Whether you touched him or not, they're not going to change it. Schrader missed that free throw. He's three for four at the free throw line this evening. It's 47-31. Nate Miles to his teammate and a short uh, shot off the uh, side by Caden Leitner. He's got six in the game, two in each quarter. 47-33. Colin White to the rim. Into the lane he goes, and we're going to get shooting fouls for Colin White. You know, you take away that that early part from uh, Manuel Christian and, you know, where they fell so far behind, you know, they've played so much better on the offensive end, but they just cannot, the, I'm not going to say the effort, but the, the stops have just not been there on defense. Here's White. Lee's famous recipe chicken free throws. And into the basketball game will come Grady Tomasos. I don't think that uh, Colin Erford or Colin White, Kate Erford or Colin White have sat down this game. You're right. I think I don't coaches think rotated all those other guys in and out periodically. Those two guys have played the entire time. And he makes another free throw. He's 8 for 8 the free throw line this evening. He's got 25 points in the game. Does Colin White. I look at Caden Erford, and I've said this, I've felt this all along. He's like a machine. He just, just keeps on going. Tomazos will go to the rim and missed it. It's tipped by White. The rebound came to Leitner. Two on two the other way. And Erford took the ball away and will get called for a foul. Now we're going to see this on a replay. <laughs> he just took yeah, it away from did. him. And to the free throw line will go Jalen Brown. He will get a pair of Lee's famous recipe chicken free throws. If you want to, my analysis of Kate Nerfer, you know, he averages 14 a game and six rebounds, three assists. On most teams, he is your best player. Yeah, that's right. He's a first-team all-conference player again. But you put those, and he would have more numbers on a team that didn't have a Colin White on him. That's exactly right. He, he's a very talented young man. Although, Jerry, I had a chance to interview Katie Kaufman after the OG girls won the other day in the regionals. And I said, Katie, if Caden plays basketball against his sister one-on-one, who wins? And she wouldn't answer. <laughs> Very intelligent young yeah. lady. I, I said, you're right. That's not a fair question to ask. How about that for a family, though? Oh, you know, my. to be able to, you know, witness and, and be part of that. Um, just impressive. Brown now has 14 in the game. This pass goes ahead to Schrader. Here's White coming down the lane. He goes... Hello. Coming down the lane. Coming down the lane. Uh, that is not your typical high school player. No. My goodness. Whitener gives it up. Into the corner it goes. Here's a long three from Brown, and we're going to get a foul that's going to go against, I think, Grant Schrader. I think they're calling it. Before the shot or after the shot? Obviously after the shot. So they're yeah, he's going to call a push after the shot was the call. Get him out of bounds. So still that's because that's the fourth team foul on uh, OG. will still take it out of bounds. Nate Miles will be the inbounder. Brown with a basketball. Matched up with Grant Schrader. 51-35, Titans. Miles, pull-up jumper from the foul line, and he traveled. Three-point sponsor this today is Simplified Flooring. We make flooring simple. Had a couple of those in this quarter, both by Jalen Brown. A couple warnings given to the uh, Emmanuel Christian bench. Yeah. I don't think it was to their head coach, but I think to one of the assistants sitting there. Well, typically the official says, I will talk to Mr. Head Coach. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm not talking to the rest of you guys over there. Here's White working the lane. Tomasos. 
Minute to go, third quarter. To the corner goes to Schrader. Grant goes to the rim, and he finishes. Grant Schrader becomes a double-figure scorer with 10. Nice job by Grant Schrader that time of controlling his body and kind of hesitating a little bit while he was in the air. Ball bounces short off the hands of Mister. He gets his own rebound back, however. 18-point lead. They're going to back it up. White and Miles just leading on each other here at the top of the circle. <laughs> and they switch. Erford's got him now. Miles goes to the lane. That was a pretty move. Yes, it was. He's got 15 now. You can see why he's very highly recruited. It's, it's almost a quiet 15, yes, though, isn't it? Yes, it is. It, it hasn't been explosive, I guess is the proper term. To the rim, Erford ball fakes, goes up in traffic. Caden Erford now becomes a double-figure scorer with 10. Off the backboard it goes. The Titans will head to the quarter three with a trip to the state of the regional finals on the line with a 55-37 lead. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. We're back at the Strode Center here at Bowling Green State University. Our quarter sponsor today is Critton Aerial Applications, providing you with custom liquid and granular crop application, all from our innovative drone system. Videos and information on our Facebook page, Critton Aerial Applications. Also today, our scoreboard today has been brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Automated pergolas, retractable walls and screens, outdoor furniture, and outdoor kitchens. A 19-18 quarter for the Titans. Yeah, and, you know, we talked about coming out second half, what to expect, you know, if you're the coach, how's it going to be. I'll tell you what, those dunks down the lane by Colin White don't hurt anything. But, boy, the offensive rebounding, too. Yes. Uh, wow. Just, you know, they're just the epitome of a team. Yeah, that we were the other night we were here last night. We were getting individual stats from the BGSU staff. We, we haven't gotten those this evening, but I think Westrick has made a nice impact in yeah. this game and somewhat limited playing time as he works himself back into shape from his knee injury. Yeah, and there's a good example. He's got four points on the night, but yet has made a huge difference in the game. Baseline jumper is short. Westrick tips the ball into White's hands. 18 point lead for the right to play Margareta here Saturday. Into the lane it goes. Erford with a left-handed finish off a good pass. He's got 12 now. Man, I, I, I'm enjoying watching that. That's just great cut, great teamwork. Nate Miles was headed to the rim, and he was fouled. First team foul with 30 seconds to go into quarter four. Jalen Brown is our inbounder. He's got 14 in the game. Nate Miles has 15. That shot misses. Good check out and so well done that Tomazos let the bounce on the floor before he rebounded it. You know, how about this, Mark? If this keeps up, you know, 20-point lead going into the fourth quarter, and, you know, if they end up playing Margareta in the finals, uh, regional finals, to go to the state tournament, and the women did what? Played yeah, Margareta? Play Margareta. That's I mean, correct. I'm sure it's happened before, yeah. and, but still, how, how cool is that? Back cut white, and another one. Another well-executed play, and he gets a backdoor cut and a dunk for 29. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> Let alone the no-look pass. Yeah, that really Knew good. right that... where he was going to be. Baseline jumper, Brown, no. Battle for the rebound. It's Colin White, numbers the other way. White gives it up. Bounce pass, nope. White scores in the lane. He's got 31 now off a good pass. A lot of kids couldn't catch that ball. Oh, exactly right. See how he hesitated to throw that pass? Miles was headed to the rim when he was fouled. We're going to get some substitutions yeah, in here. Here we go. Watch this. Yeah. On the, no, we're going to see the. Yeah, we saw the foul there. Our instant replay sponsor tonight is Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, the area's premier Chevrolet and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area. Serving Lima for more than 100 years, we are proud to call this home. We are going to get a Mexico Financial Services timeout. 6.26 to go. Titans 61, Warriors 37. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. 
Nice Game is brought to you in part by Northwest Ohio Recycling in Pandora, paying top dollar for aluminum, copper, brass, scrap iron, and scrap cars. You can call 419-384-3392. Game is also brought to you tonight by Dale's Concrete and Decorative Stamping and Lipsing. They are there for all of your commercial and residential concrete needs. That timeout, Jerry, was called by Coach McLaughlin. His team is up 24. Yeah, and, you know, probably just a little bit of break, you know, and say, hey, you know, we're in the stretch run now. Let's just keep playing. Keep, don't, you know, don't get wild. You know, settle them down a little bit. Jacob Sims will be the inbounder with 626 to go. Thing is, I don't think you need to tell that team that. <laughs> they just, they're so well coached and, and so well on the floor coached. Terrell Williams wears number three. He entered during that timeout. Here's a baseline jumper. It's the side of the board. Here's another call, uh, Erford rebound. Brady Tomasos. You know, you said it before, but Caden Erford is such a catalyst to this team. Just makes so many things happen. He catches the ball now at the top of the circle. And around it goes to Grant Schrader. Colin White, a little flex action, pass inside. And Ross Mag overshot it, but yeah. a rebound on the backside by Tomasos. He had a basket in the opening quarter and now one in this quarter for his four points. Pull-up jumper will be short by Mister, and in the battle for the rebound, it will end up with the Emmanuel Christian Warriors. You know, the thing I see, too, about Ottawa Glendorf, you know, about how I, I, I see them so expressionless on the floor. And I, and I mean that in a good way. Yeah. They're, they're playing the game. I mean, they don't get caught up with whether it was a foul or not a foul or whether it was out of bounds or not or whose it was. They just play the game. Nate Miles was trying to muscle his way to the glass, and in the process of doing so, he uh, causes Ross Mag to foul him, to grab him, keep him from getting to the rim. 5.27 to go. Mark, I've said this before, but, you know, places I would hear in different parts of the state, you know, that how do they do it? And you, you just talk about culture. Well, what does that mean? Well, you know what? It's every mom and dad. It's every business. You know, it's the school environment that, you know, yeah, everybody demands excellence, but they just expect it. And you have something to live up to from your families to your administrators and everybody. You just, it's a, it's a great thing. Pull-up jumper misses. We've got a rebound foul inside that will go out of bounds. Yeah, Tice game is brought to you in part by Binkley Real Estate. Binkley Real Estate has an effective sales approach, effective marketing campaigns, and extensive network that will get results that move you. Baseline out of bounds. Yeah, Grant Schrader called for that one, a little bit of a push on the rebound on the box out. Well, we finally found a negative. The Titans have four fouls already in the quarter. And we've only played three minutes. We're going to get another Mesco Financial Services timeout. You're watching High School Tournament Basketball on WOSN. Our timeouts today have been brought to you by Mesco Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MescoFinancialServices.com. And tonight's game is also brought to you in part by Ohio Logistics. Ohio Logistics provides all the assets and operational support necessary to meet your most sophisticated logistical requirements. Ohio Logistics, the smart move. To learn more, visit ohiologistics.com. That timeout went to Emmanuel Christian. Yeah, I think, you know, five minutes, you know, to to think they're going to win this, uh, you know, probably not. But at the same time, play hard. You know, never know. You never know. Just play hard. You've got some young guys. Yep. Let's And a lot of these guys are coming back next year. Let's learn from this. That's right. part of what that timeout was about. Here's a move by Miles oh. inside. How about that from body control and strength? He's got 17 now. He is a sophomore. Yeah. You're right. They have a lot of young players. You know, they're going to be good in the future. And it's great experience. You don't quite say that, but at the same time, because you're still trying to win, but just play hard. Colin White came off a flex cut and missed a shot inside, but tipped the ball from behind and got called for a foul. I, there's something that you can really be said for this flex stuff. You can use it to quick score, and you can use it as your delay game. Yep. 
That was the fifth foul of the quarter, so we're going to get Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throws. Lee's, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here to the free throw line, and making that free throw is Antoine Mister, and I'm looking at my score sheet. That is his first point of the game. You know, Mark, I've said this many times, and I know many, many people would disagree, but the game is not rocket science. You know what I mean? It just it, There's only so much. And, you know, players are different. Players are bigger, faster, stronger. But, you know, the flex offense. It comes back, it goes, it comes back. But you can use it for a number of things. It's just how you teach the game, you know, and what you stress fundamentally I think is what makes one of the biggest differences in how the game is coached. Colin White was headed to the rim when he was fouled, as you can see our Lima Chevrolet Cadillac instant replay. And to the free throw line, Colin White will go. He has 31 points in the game. Average is 24 a game. You know, Mark, that, he had 34, Jerry, in this in the uh, district uh, wow. final win against Spencerville. Wow. You know, I remember my early days of coaching, and no, that really wasn't when there was a center jump after every. Yeah, we got to answer that every yeah, time, don't we? Yeah. But, you know, I think about that. You know, when you're a young coach and you're putting in something new earlier in the season, and, you know, right away when you put it in, it doesn't work. You know, I mean, kids are, like, looking at what what's going on, you know, to gain that confidence. And I think that's why – it's, you know, consistency with coaches, you know, is so key. To, to give it time. Antoine Mister caught that ball in the middle of the Titan defense, went to the lane and got fouled, and he will go back to the free throw line. Among all the other things, OG and Colin White are good at. He is 10 for 10 at the free throw yeah. line today, and there's a team there 13 of 14. Yeah, that's it's not too bad. That'll win you some games. Yep. First free throw good. Antoine Mister. He's got three in a row of those now. See if he can get four. 65-42 lead. As you can see on our screen. That one back to the rims it. And Erford got the rebound, lost his balance, and got called for traveling. And uh, all of the referees wearing blue and gold wanted a foul call. <laughs> With the uh, officials on the court. And here's here's Colin White, okay? Oh, look, lift him off. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not even cracking a smile about doing no. it either. He just thought, you know, listen, it's there. I'm going to do it. I'm looking at a guy with, uh, with 33 points, and his shooting hand is taped up because he's had some damage with it. I would bet every kid now will be taping his shooting hand. Yeah. <laughs> I'll like Colin White. There's a jump out of the corner. That was a wonderful wow. jump shot by Miles. He's got 19 now. What a talent he is. Yes, he is. 20-point lead, 65-45. We're halfway through the fourth quarter. Westrick on top. Tomazo's cut, and that ball is knocked away. Good defensive play. Here go the Warriors the other way, and the scoop shot yeah. and rolling it in was, uh, that was Jalen Brown. Had to look and see who did it. Yeah. He's got 16 now. Schrader to the rim. Schrader's shot bounces around. It doesn't go, but he tracks the rebound down and then bounces it off the leg of uh, Jalen Brown. Into the basketball game comes Alex Wagner. Three twenty-eight to go. We will be back here on Saturday to cover the regional final game here. And you're right. It looks like the time is going to be TBD. TBD. Yeah, that's correct. Let's go through that. The next time we get a dead ball, we'll discuss that situation. For people who might want to come up and see the game, Colin White into the lane. A couple of ball fakes and kicks it back out. And they reset. Yep, let's try this again. Westrick to the corner it goes to Wagner. You've got to give Emmanuel credit. Uh, Emmanuel Christian credit. They, they defensively, they're, they're, they're strong on the basketball. Tomazos doubled up. Schrader to the corner it goes to Wagner, and his pass is blocked. 
originally into the hands of Leitner. Let's just talk about that, Jerry. If, and we're going to get a timeout. So we'll have to do when we come back from the break. It's a Mexico Financial Services timeout. 2.38 to go. You're watching High School Tournament Basketball on WOSN. That was a Metzger Financial Services timeout. Metzger Financial Services helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Jerry, if the Ottawa Glendorf ladies win their state semifinal match, they are scheduled to play at basically the same time that their right. boys are scheduled on Saturday. The prevailing thought is the girls' state tournament will stay the same. The Ottawa Glendale boys will move to 7 p.m. on Saturday in this facility. And I would guess from past experience that would be the the norm that the lower level game would probably be moved. A little bit more flexibility. And I think we that. should inform the Ohio Highway Patrol to stay off of Interstate 75 and just let the OG people go to their state game and then get up here to Bowling Green. What do you yep, think? That's exactly right. That was the final timeout that Emmanuel Christian has in the basketball game. They trail 65-46. That ball gets lost out of bounds. Mark, you think about the think about the OG people. Think about the Ottawa Glendorf citizens. You know that they support both their men's and women's girls and boys yep. teams very well. But just think about that of how many games in a week's time, at tournament time in particular, that they're 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 going to. They're traveling to. I mean, I'm not even going to get into the money aspect sure. of it, but um, you know, and that's why ticket prices are a big thing. I mean, there's no question about it. Miles shot missed. That foul will go to Terrell Williams. And that is just the second team foul of the fourth quarter. So we're going to take this one out of bounds. I think I mentioned I ran into that, you know, when I was executive director where we had happened to be out of a Glendorf. Uh, girls and boys were playing at the same time. There, and... Uh, Every move we tried to make impacted another team in the exact same manner. That's the weirdest thing ever, but there was no option. Colin White to the rim. He's going to get an and one opportunity. That is points 34 and 5. He's looking at 36. Just look at how he controls himself when he's in the air. There's a strength there, too. I I was about to say the same thing. You you have to have some body strength to be able to contort and then be strong enough to get the ball up on the glass and score. White makes yet another free throw, his 36th point, 68-46. Didn't we say coming into this tonight, uh, these four four teams, that we're going to see some big-time scorers tonight? Yes, we have. Speaking of which, <laughs> Jalen Brown has 19 in the game. That is his third made three-point field goal. Three-point field goal sponsor. That's been simplified flooring. We'll go to the free throw line. You can really see in Division Three how they got to the regional tournament. Oh, yeah. You know, I, 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 I quite honestly, you know, I think that 23-6 to opening quarter yes. was a key to this. I expected this was to be a four- or five-point game. So did I. You know, a, a fourth-quarter type game. We're going to get some substitutions into the game. Geno Harris Jr. wears number 15. And he will enter for Emmanuel Christian. Stay tuned when this one comes to an end in uh, a minute 40. Jerry and I will pick our Stolly Hustle Award. We're going to have some final thoughts on this game as Colin White beats Brown across midcourt. Erford and then on top to Grant Schrader to Erford again. You know that 23-6 first quarter you were talking about? I just changed the complexion for Emmanuel Christian. They just yeah. had to play so different to try to catch up. And that just takes you out. And when it happens in the first quarter, that just changes the whole complexion of the game of what you came in wanting to do. Erford. Titans got the floor spread. And it looks like they're going to run some substitutions into the game here if we get a dead ball. And you'll certainly read the comments by Coach Harris, you know, that we dug ourselves at too deep of a hole, you know, and that's so true. And we're going to get a foul called, a ticky-tack foul, and the reason why that was called by a veteran (laughs) official, we want to get some guys into the game. That's an official who understands the situation and where we're at right now, and that lets a bunch of guys come into the game. 
And Erford's going to have to shoot a free throw, I guess, before that can take place because it's the fifth foul. So we'll get a double bonus situation. Caden Erford's got 12 points in the game. Has not been to the free throw line yet this evening. He shoots 77% on the season. With all the other things we ask coaches to do as busy as they are, Tyson set his stats this week, yep. you know, like, like most of the yep. coaches have that we deal with. Erford bounces his 13th point in. I was just going to say, I want to make sure that he, Erford hits this one. Well, I wanted him to hit that first one so they could sub in. Adam Mag, Holden Aldrich. I'm looking to see who else checks into the game. Brady Fortman came into the game. Uh, Grant Leopold came into the game. We got one more substitution, and he is desperately hoping that Erford makes his free throw so he gets in the game. <laughs> Uh, Cedric Hester checked in. Uh, Jaden Wells checked in. So did uh, Donovan Coley checked in. And Terrell Williams is still on the floor. So Coach Harrison's made some substitutions as well. Here's Erford's second free throw with 45.3. Bounced that one in as well. He's got 14 in the game. And that will allow Connor Kitchen to come into the basketball game. And it's going to be a 70-49 lead. Over midcourt comes Williams. Terrell gets a screen. He's working the lane. Kick back out, and he missed the pass to his teammate as he tried to get it to Geno Harris, Jr. Well, especially when you're the leading team going to win this game, and you're on the floor right now, this is big. You want to get, a, you want to get in the book. Yep. Adam Mag over midcourt. Leopold. Back to Mag. Working the lane is Fortman. And Brody brings it back out. On the other hand, give him a lot of credit, you know, for not. Sure. And not running it up at all. The Ottawa Glandorf Titans will move to the regional final. They do so with a 70 to 49 victory over the Toledo Emanuel Christian Warriors. Jerry and I'll be back in a moment with our postgame show, the Stolly Hustle Award winner. After this, you're watching high school tournament basketball on WOSN. We're back at the show center, which is beginning to empty out rather quickly on a Wednesday evening. Ottawa Glandorf with a 70 49 victory today over the Toledo Emanuel Christian Warriors. Our first order of business is to present our Stolly Hustle Award winner. You can check out highlights of tonight's Stolly Hustle Award winner on the WSN YouTube page. Jerry, we talked for quite a bit. Obviously, a lot of guys put points and numbers up on the board, but when it came to a hustle play this evening, we decided to go with Dave Westrick from Ottawa Glendor. Yep, and I'm, I'm, we talked for a long time about it. You know, most people think points are everything. Yes, they're critical. That's how you win. But, boy, those players that come in, do what they're supposed to do and are a spark, sometimes are untold. Dave Westrick is my kind of player. He, he played hard today. He rebounded the basketball. He only scored four points, but his role was to do so much more than that. And, and as he gets better and better coming off his knee injury, it's really making his team better. And, you know, I think that's a big tribute for him, too, of coming off of a knee injury, how frustrating that is for a player when you've got a team like this, but working your way back and doing what he did on the court deserves every bit of it. Dave Westrick, our Stolly Hustle Award winner from this evening. Jerry and I are going to take one more break. We'll come back with final thoughts and some numbers after this. You're watching High School Tournament Basketball on WOSN. Our postgame show tonight is brought to you by the State Bank. Contact the State Bank for all your banking and financial service needs. Visit yourstatebank.com. Member FDIC and equal housing lender. Mark Schein, Jerry Snodgrass. It's a 70-49 victory, Jerry. I'm looking at the stat board up there. There's a whole lot of stat things that really favor the Titans this yeah, season. Yeah, they do. You know, how about 16 to 17 from the free, free throw, throw line? line? Yep. And you say, well, you know, the game wasn't won from the free throw line. But, yeah, maybe it was, you know. You know, possession turns into those points, you know, and, and it's still two points on a possession. And you look at the 28-18 rebounding to go along with the 56 to 43 field goal shooting percentage. Just so many things went the way of the Titans today. Yeah, they did. And, you know, it's just hard to beat that. You know, I thought, again, rebounding so many second chances, yep. you know, and that's something, again, especially when Coach Harris, that was a big key to stop that, and they couldn't. Coach Harris's team, the Toledo Emmanuel Christian Warriors, will finish the season at 23-4. and 
They had quarter scores tonight of 6, 13, 18, and 12 for their 49 points. They had a pair of players with 19 points this evening, Jalen Brown and Nate Miles. Uh, OG, they will go to 23 and 3 on the season. Quarter scores of 23, 13, 11, and 15 for their 70. They had three players in double figures this evening. Colin White had 36. Caden Erford had 14. Grant Schrader had 10. Well, Jerry, before we wrap this whole thing up, your, your thoughts on what we're going to see with a Margareta now and, and a, a game against the Ottawa Glendorf Titans? You know, we've got two teams that are very tough with the basketball, yep. very gutty type players. But I just think the experience of Ottawa Glandorf, I I think Margareta will fight tooth and nail and be in the game, but I just don't know if they can match and the, the w- senior, you know, the yeah. leadership and everything. And WSN will be here on Saturday to cover that. Remember, it could be at 1 o'clock. It could be at 7 o'clock if you're coming to the game. We want to thank our sponsors today, Ultimate Outdoor, Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, the State Bank, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, Simplified Flooring, Critton Aerial Applications, Metzger Financial Services, Northwest Ohio Recycling, Dales Concrete and Stamping, Binkley Real Estate, and Ohio Logistics. I want to thank our, our crew here tonight as well. Jennifer Beck uh, did all the, the work here, camera, got a guys all organized and audio and got us on the air and all that type of stuff. Derek Henry and Kelsey Beimer did the work here uh, as far as our camera work and getting everything all set up. Jerry, thank you as always to you. Nick Straley back at the station along with Kelly Getz. We appreciate all the work that they did as well. Ottawa Glandorf goes to the regional finals with a 70-49 victory over the Toledo Emanuel Christian Warriors. You've been watching high school tournament basketball on WOSN. <laughs>